Breaking overnight after more than a week at the International Space Station, the all-private Axiom 2 crew is back on Earth. The success of the four-person mission could set the stage for much larger trips in the near future. Jerry Askin is following the latest live in studio for us. And Jerry, there were lots of firsts during this mission. Good morning, there sure were. It was the second all-private crew to travel to the International Space Station. And among that four-person crew was Peggy Whitson, who is now the first woman to command a private space flight mission. SpaceX, we would like to tell you that was a phenomenal ride. <laughs> we really enjoyed all of it. This morning, the Axiom 2 crew is back on Earth after a splashdown last night near Panama City. <laughs> AX2 is back on Earth. Those four crew members coming out this Dragon capsule one by one after wrapping up SpaceX's second all-private mission to the International Space Station. And liftoff Falcon 9. Go Axiom. The historic Axiom 2 mission lasting about nine days after launching from the Kennedy Space Center back on May 21st. I'm really excited about returning to space, but even more excited about welcoming three new astronauts to space. Former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, who has already spent almost two years in space, is now the first woman to command a private spaceflight mission. She was joined by John Schaffner, who paid his own way and became the first person from Alaska to fly to space. And the first two Saudi Arabian government-sponsored astronauts, Ali Alcorni and Rayana Barnawi. It feels amazing to be viewing Earth from this capsule. While in space, the crew did more than 20 experiments, including microgravity's effects on stem cell research. Educational and exciting, these missions are all leading the way for Axiom to eventually put its own private space station into orbit. Right now, there are two more crewed missions set to launch from our coast this summer. The first is with Boeing's Starliner capsule that's currently set for July 21st, and NASA's Crew-7 is set for liftoff in mid-August. Live in studio, Jerry Askin, I'm getting results. News 6.